Hey guys, Buck5090 here, coming to you with another action figure review. This time we're looking at the SH Figuarts Super Saiyan Full Power Goku by Tamashii Nations. So as you can see here, it does have the little seal of, you know, seal of approval, as I guess you could say, Tamashii Nations quality, so you know it's not a bootleg. It's got the little picture here of Toy Animation, Dragon Ball Z, Bandai, Tamashii Nations, ages 15 and up, so I am eligible to open up this bad boy. And you can see here, the images here, we have Super Saiyan Goku, full power, doing that Kamehameha wave. Very cool. We have more images here on the side. As you can tell, we have all of these nice little images. Over here, we have more images of Goku powered up. All these amazing images. So, let's open it up without further ado and see how full power he really is. Alright, as always, I took it out of the box and you can see all the different hand accessories he comes with. He comes with two of the instant transmission finger pointing hands, two of these fighting stand hands, two of these open palm hands, and two of these Kamehameha wave hands. And he comes with three alternate heads, one grinning angry face, one exploding yelling mouth, and then that little goofy Goku face, which everybody loves. But yeah, without further ado, let's take it out and see how cool it is. All right, so here we have the Super Saiyan Goku full powered, opened up and out of its packaging. They always come with this little uh, plastic seal on here, so you can always just remove it from the torso. Just take it out. Most of them come with this. It's like an added protection that they do for the machinations. But yeah, let's take a look at this SH Figuarts figure. Oh my goodness. This Super Saiyan Goku looks amazing. Looking at all the details that he comes with and just like, all the, the coloring and the... You know, just the texture of the figure alone, it looks so good. And I believe this is maybe the second or third iteration of Super Saiyan Goku that they've released. There might have been a San Diego Comic Con exclusive version. Um, or a Tomasha Nations exclusive version. There is the Awakening uh, Goku version, which I do also have. I managed to snag one off Mercari. So I will be reviewing that one as well. But this one's just so nice. And the hair is so much pointier. So this is why this is for ages 15 and up, you know, because this is definitely not a kid's toy. You don't want to have your little baby playing with this because they will poke their eye out with this or they'll try to eat the hair sculpt and they'll choke. So don't mess around with these SH Figuart figures. They are very valuable and, you know, very dangerous for any youngsters who decide to play with these action figures. Let's do a little comparison with the Dragon Stars Goku. All right, so here we have the Dragon Stars Super Saiyan Goku right next to the new SH Figuart Super Saiyan Goku. And you can definitely tell the difference in quality because, you know, this one looks like a plastic action figure, of course. And then this, this looks like, like an action figure. Oh, it's a little bit too bright there. But yeah, and then these, of course, you know, they're not so pointy because, you know, kids buy these action figures for the Dragon Stars. And, you know, the articulation's not always there. And then these are super extra pointy because, you know, the detail that they go into these figures is just phenomenal. I do also have the other uh, yelling Super Saiyan Goku figure with its Kamehameha Blast. But we'll do that comparison once I swap out the hands and stuff like that. But yeah, let's start looking at the articulation first. Moving this Goku aside. Let's grab this Goku and focus on his articulation. So over here we have... Pretty much the same articulation as the Goku Blue figure. We have that, look at that face sculpt. Let's just admire that face sculpt for a little bit. It's very anime accurate. The green, the hue on the eye, you know, the eyeballs is really nice. You can see here the yellow on the eyebrows. It's so good. Just so much attention to detail. So anyway, articulations. So the head can rotate around, of course. It can look down this much. It can look up this much. Uh, it does have an extra neck joint separately, so you can move it around. And it has uh, definitely a better range of motion for the neck. As for the arms, they can move out this far. And it doesn't hinder the articulation, of course, because this part is also separate and also malleable. So you can also move it inward, move it outward. It's attached to this part here in the back. As you can see, there's a peg that goes here behind the back of his shoulder. Okay, he does have a rotation here on the bicep, so you can rotate around the bicep. He has double jointed elbows, so the elbows can rotate. Uh, they can bend. It's a pretty nice bend right there. The hands can rotate around. 
they can move forward and back. It's pretty good rotation and pretty good uh, movement there. He does have uh, rotation here around the waist. And of course, he has that ab crunch. So you can move this around forward. You can make it go back. Pretty good range of motion for these SH frigwarts, I must say. And they're not as delicate as I was, you know, scared that they might be. So now for the legs. The legs do have that same articulation as the Goku Blue figure where the legs can go outward and I can kick forward. Not so much, but oh, they can kick back fairly well too. That's pretty nice. You have double jointed knees, so you can bend this far. And then of course you have articulation here on the ankle and on the foot right there, on the little toesies. You have that little joint that gets articulated, which is nice. You know, I, I love seeing that articulation on these SH records. And of course, you can see in contrast how the color goes from bright uh, orange and blue on the gi um, to a little bit more darker tones here on the pants. I don't know if that's coming off well here in the light, but that's the way I'm seeing it. And yeah, I'm not sure if that was made on purpose or that's just how it is when he's going Super Saiyan. Uh, once again, with the head sculpt, and let me show you that how that works. We can pop off the head and add another different head expression to it. So for example, again, just grab this front part of the hair, take off the hair piece. There's two pegs right there that go there. You can take that off. Then you can slide off the face. So don't be afraid of taking off his face. He's got two pegs that go there on the side of his face. And we can grab a new facial expression. Let's go with the screaming Kamehameha Goku. You can put that right there into the two peg holes on the face and then go back and put the hair piece right back on it. And boom, now we have a new expression for our Super Saiyan Goku. We can do the same again with the hands where you can pop off the little hands here. And of course, don't be afraid to use a little bit of force, some, some wiggle force, but not too much because you don't want to break it. That's one of the things I always worry with this SH Freakworks. You know, some of them are pretty pricey so you don't want to break them. Uh, this one, once again, I got it at Target. So again, for any new SH Figuarts beginners, you can get these at a fairly good price. Let me see if I can take this hand off. And the hand slides really nice right there. Wait, I might have to do this off screen. All right, there we go. I apparently had to do this um, off screen because it's a little bit difficult to kind of pop on the hand back properly. But we have here the Dragon Stars Powered of Goku with the yelling face expression and the new yelling expression of the Powered Up or Full Power Super Saiyan Goku from SH Figuarts. And of course I have here the Blast Effect piece also that comes with this Dragon Stars. So you can actually have him posing with this in case you do need a you know, some type of accessory to go with this SH Figuarts figure. I think this would be, uh, it's pretty it's pretty nice there. You know, you can kind of use that as part of the display piece. I was using it for the Dragon Stars version, but you know, now that I have this new SH Figuarts Goku, I'm definitely gonna go with this figure instead. So yeah, there's that option. And again, the posability on this figure is very nice. As you can tell by the movement of the hands, how I managed to get him into that Super Saiyan, um, uh, the Kamehameha wave posing. And of course it was fairly easy, just popping off the hands, popping on the new hands. And of course you guys already saw how easily it was to just kind of pop off the hair. Here, I'll do another piece, pop off the hair piece, slide the face off. We can put that back in here. And now I'm gonna put the grinning face, Goku, where he's angry or he looks like he's ready to fight. And we can pop that hair back on here like this. And it's, it's that easy. You can just pop off the faces. Again, it doesn't look... I mean, it has a little bit of a crease here if you don't close it correctly. But you can barely tell that there's, you know, any spacing there that's needed. It's just very nice, really well done figure. I'm really enjoying these SH Figuarts. And again, you can get this at Target. Okay, it's time for some size comparisons. All right, so before we do the size comparisons, I just wanna show you what it looks like with the instant transmission hand in him. And the articulation is that nice, uh, especially on the elbow that you can, you know, 
make it so that he's bending the elbow so he can do the instant transmission pose. So that is another option that you have with this SH figure. Okay, now let's do a size comparison. All right, for our size comparisons, we have our variant Loki here, Marvel Legends Loki, and standing next to Goku. I can put in another SH figure's Goku, the recent one we just saw, Super Saiyan Blue Goku. We can also put in the Super Saiyan Goku from Dragon Stars right there next to him. And then of course, for added measure, another Power Rangers which of course you guys know I love Power Rangers, so we are gonna add a Power Rangers right there to this lineup. So you can see how it scales compared to the other six inch or seven inch figures in the line. So let's do a little measurement right here. I do have my uh, ruler stick here. So this Goku actually measures up about six and a half inches, again with the hair because the hair is very pointy and long, which is a comparison to this Dragon Star, who is towering at six and a half exactly, or even a little bit more than six and a half. And these Marvel Legend figures are exactly six inches, as well as these Power Rangers Lightning Collection figures, which are about six inches tall. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos coming soon. Let me know if you're going to be picking up this figure. There are a bunch of this Super Saiyan Goku figure at Target right now. So you can pick it up at Target. You can see I already swapped the Goku uh, face scope with the goofy, happy, smirking Goku face scope. So yeah, they're available at all Targets. You can also find them on online retailers. They shouldn't be more than like 35 bucks, which is not bad for any of you SH Figuarts collectors who are beginning to collect SH Figuarts. And it kind of like reels you into the SH Figuarts world. You know what I mean? So definitely let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite Goku. You guys like the Goku Blue version or the regular Super Saiyan Goku version? And if you guys have the Dragon Stars figures, what do you guys think of this comparison? Are you going to be picking up the new SH Figuarts lines compared to these Dragon Star figures? Because I honestly never thought I would pick up an SH Figuarts. I thought I was just going to stick with these Dragon Stars. I was like, these are as, you know, as good as they get, like 20 bucks, 22 bucks, whatever, that's fine. But then seeing these figures in hand and, you know, finally being able to purchase one and own one, I was like, no, I definitely like the SH Figuarts line and I will probably continue to collect the SH Figuarts lines now that I'm like hooked in and reeled in. So yeah, <laughs> not, not, not a good, um, not a deal situation here because I'm probably going to be picking up more than one SH Figuarts and I've already ordered a bunch. So yikes, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you already haven't, make sure you hit the bell notification so you can be first to get my reviews once I release them. And that's pretty much it. Happy holidays for everybody. Stay safe and no spoilers in the comments. All right, until next time.